Hi, Chanel here, the Living Dolly. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to take some time out and say thank you so much for my subscribers, for the comments, for the love. Everything is greatly appreciated. I love you all. Okay, so into this look today, I wanted to create something that is more affordable, that is more drugstore-ish. So it is easy for people who may not be able to afford high end or just do not want to spend the money on high end products. And that is okay. Because when I learned how to do makeup initially, self-taught and God, I've been through some crap. I'm talking about like mismatched color foundations, horrible powder matches, eyeshadow like the same color from like my lid straight up to my brow bone i've been through the worst so trust and believe i wanted this channel to be something that is more of a teaching experience for those of us who are kind of like beginners like me and want to learn how to be able to slay so this is basically a drugstore affordable look as i said before and this is only products that can be easily accessed either through online or through the drugstore right of course you know color pop was used because i mean god can we get into that glow oh it's great <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this look and please come again thank you so much for liking subscribing commenting everything it's greatly appreciated thank you so much bye Hi guys, so for my eyebrows, I used the Giordano Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Coffee Bean and I outlined them with, of course, Cool Tan LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I'm going to be applying my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast to all my hyperpigmentation and acne scarring and going to be blending it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to give me a basic coverage before i go into my foundation and today i'll be using the maybelline superstay 24 hour foundation in the shade warm sun and this gives me great coverage for drugstore foundation this is lit so i'm applying it with my fingers and then into my m439 morphe foundation brush this brush is life it is great gives me that flawless coverage without any lines of demarcation if this does not work i usually go in with my superstay foundation in the shade cock coconut sorry and i mix it with my warm sun and i get my flawless shade so next into cool tan once again for my highlighted areas under the eyes forehead nose and chin and after they've been blended it out we're going to be using our sasha buttercup powder to give us that set as well as to bake now into juvia's place palette the masquerade mini we're going into that brown shade to warm up our crease and don't worry the names of these shades will be added in the description box below and we're just giving out a wash of color on both eyes and then we're going to be going into that fuchsia shade to blend out that brown shade basically giving us a gradient effect gradient sorry effect from brown into fuchsia so that we can see the entire look in progression from lid to crease to the rest of the eye look so we just have to keep going over and over blending and making sure that those colors are prominent and they are properly blending blending is key when it comes to eyeshadow application blend 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 so next we're going to be cutting our crease with our same la girl pro concealer doing it on the both eyes and first shade we're going into for a lid is that bright blue shade in the center of our lids make sure and pack that color on to give us that beautiful blue look in the middle next we're on to our green shade in the inner corner of our eye making sure it's properly well blended into the blue and then last but not least we're going to be using that darker shade of blue for the outer corner of the eye right and we're dragging that color to the middle of our crease right above the lighter blue that way we can see the blend of the colors better that way so we're just blending back and forth making sure that we did not lose any color and all of the colors you can clearly see them 
I love this look already. So we're dusting off that excess powder with my dual ended brush. And then we're getting into my black opal medium brown powder to set the rest of my face that has not been highlighted, making sure that we get all areas and then into the contour with that same palette. I love a palette that you can use everything for. You don't need to look for another contour palette. It's right there. So that dark brown shade is giving me just enough of a contour. And now we're into Jordana for our waterline as well as our eyeliner with a slight wing and these are both jet black giving us a little bit of that inner corner highlight with this gold shade just to give us a little awake look into my favorite maybelline big shot mascara and now into the luxe gloss from colourpop cosmetics and of course the shayla pose highlighter giving us that perfect glow so thank you so much for watching we're setting it now with our elf spray our matte spray and we're good to go thank you love you bye